This smells like Jordans. Hey guys, how's it going? If you're new to this channel, my name is Melvin and I talk about sneakers. Today, I have the human-made Adidas Rivalry Low sneakers in all three colorways. This collab dropped on August 6th together with the Campus and Stan Smith silhouettes. Those are okay, but what drawn me to the Rivalry Lows are the colors that pay homage to the OG Babe Star colorways. And why not? After all, Nigo, real name Tomoaki, the creator of Human Made, is also the founder of the wildly popular urban clothing line, A Bathing Ape, Bape for short. So back in the early 2000s, he introduced the Bape Star sneakers. Not that there was any collaboration with Nike, but they basically looked like Air Force Ones. They became a hit anyway due to its bold color blocking and use of patent leather. Since he no longer controls Babe, yes, Nigo has sold his company, he is bringing Babe Star inspired colors to Adidas. The rivalry low silhouette wouldn't be my first choice, but you know what? Scratch that. I'm getting a little bored of Superstar and Stan Smith collapse anyway. This to me is super dope. Uh, although I'm still trying to get used to the uh, silhouette's medial side because of this design it looks a little narrow but it's not but other than that uh, I really love how the color blocking turned out I've never come across rivalry lows in such eye-catching colorways their base colors on the leather upper have always been either white or black because of that I couldn't decide which colorway I like best even Sean Waterspoon thinks it's a great collab so I got all three and having them on hand right now, that decision is still hard to make. Oh, by the way, the rivalry silhouette was designed for basketball. The high tops were first introduced in 1986, just one year after the AJ1. It is no secret that Michael Jordan was a fan of the brand with three stripes. However, Adidas did not want to sign him for some reasons, including him being too short. So, he went with Nike instead. Think about it, if that deal with Adidas went through, this could have been the Jordans. It is odd, they smell like AJ1s as well. Alright, enough of the history lesson, let us talk about the shoe. The entire upper is this really soft leather, a little bit too soft actually, it made me wonder if it was even, you know, leather at all but all sources seems to claim so. There isn't a lot of cushioning, but it is ample. I have already tried them on and they seem comfortable enough without having the need to break in. These are way lighter than the Air Force ones and that is a plus for me. The stitching and glue seems okay, so I guess the only problem I have with this sneaker is its price tag. Now, the general release models of the silhouette go for about $65, sometimes even less than $40 if there is a sale. This one, $150 US. I'm not sure how does this compare with the regular ones, like in terms of quality or materials used, but for $150, they better be superior. <laughs> Otherwise, you're simply paying extra for the human-made branding and design. The technology is from the 80s. On the bright side, they did not sell out. So I'm certain these rivalry lows in all these three colorways will go on sale at some point. I am keeping all of them. After all, they don't have any resale value. But uh, I honestly think the collection is great. I absolutely love the color blocking on each of them. Well, yeah, so I guess that is all I have for you guys today. Be sure to stay back for some on-fit footage. Comment down below. Tell me which is your favorite colorway or none for that matter. Thank you for watching and until the next episode, peace.